Are Ben and Missy late? Uh, oh no, they're here. They went to the bathroom. 20 minutes ago. What? Yes. Do they have sex like all the time? Hey. Hey. hey! Welcome once again to What the Flick, Ben Mankiewicz, Matt Achety, Alonzo Duralde, the lovely Christy Lemire. Not that you guys aren't lovely. You are. <laughs> friends, really with, uh, <laughs> friends with kids, Matt will be largely silent. Although he is a friend. With, with a kid. kid. Don't call me largely. That's what's cool. Don't make fat jokes. He will be proportionally. Will be lovely silence. Proportionally silent. Uh, even though he um, has a kid because he didn't see it. My wife hates you. Uh, who, uh, still hates still. you. He's not going away. Uh, who's describing this? Me. Oh, okay. He's a friend without kids. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. So I, I'm an expert here. Okay, so basically uh, Jennifer Westfeld, who was the star and writer of uh, Kissing Jessica Stein uh, wrote and directed this thing. She stars in it as a woman who wants a baby but uh, does not have any luck with relationships. So she and her longtime best pal Adam Scott decide that they're going to make a kid together but not get married and not become a couple. And uh, they're married friends whose lives have been seemingly sucked away from them by having kids, think that they're nuts for doing it, but uh, they proceed anyway and then they start dating other people and things get awkward. Oh my god, that is the worst idea I ever heard. Oh my god. It's coming. I feel like it's coming out of my ass. I don't think they had any idea how hard any of this was going to be. Yeah, they're probably in hell. Hey. Hey. Something smells good. Jason made the most amazing quiches. Yeah, you only get one shot of first impression. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. Hi. I am Kurt. Wow. You are one extremely handsome German man. I'm actually from Long Island, but how are you? <laughs> Sit. Holy. <laughs> Just go with this. You're gonna hit on me with a baby? Boo. I'm not married. I think I met the girl today. MJ. I've heard so much about you. I have two of your thongs in my apartment. I wash them. Jason Jewell, not everyone thought that this little arrangement was gonna work out. Why didn't you guys ever even try being together? It's too much familiarity. It's like she's one of my limbs. And that's bad because. Because as the only person here who has given birth, <laughs> I can. The floor is yours. I, I can say that. Why do you always play that card? Because <laughs> I because I have a vagina and I can. Uh -huh. um, I can say with all truthfulness, I believe she's trying to find some candor and some heart and to a relatable thing for women in their 30s, right? Because you go through these stages. And at first you're like reluctant, like I'm never gonna have a kid. And then the idea kind of sneaks up on you. And then you really, really want it. And then you have a baby and it's like, holy crap, what did we do? And the realism of it sets in with moments of like, hey, we're kind of good at this, this is kind of fun. So I think she, she means to touch on all those stages with some honesty, and it ends up being totally reductive and cliched and sitcom -y. Yeah, there, oh. there, there was a, the, the effort to find truth was obvious. There mm -hmm. was just scene after scene where you're like, this is what it's like, we're gonna bring you inside, this is exactly what sort of the, 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 the different polls where you're like, oh, I wanna be a good parent, I know I'm supposed to be a good parent, but these kids have wrecked my life. But I agree, those scenes, they just didn't, they didn't connect. If you saw Kissing Jessica Stein, that was a movie about a straight woman who has no luck dating, and she decides, I'm gonna try being a lesbian, and then decides, no, I'm not. <laughs> and this movie is about, like, I'm gonna try to have a kid without getting tied up into a relationship, and then decides, no, I'm not. And it's like, so this, she makes these movies that are about, that flirt with being daring and, you know, subverting the paradigm and blah, 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 but then immediately go running back to the safety right. of- Yes, that's of true. You know, normativity and, and, and uh, you know, it, it, it I, ends in a very conventional it's safe way. Yeah, it, it's super conformist, and which would be fine if it were funny, but this movie is not funny. And like, it's a waste of very, very it, funny it's, people. It's like watching, a, if somebody bought a comedy kit, because you've got <laughs> like funny situations, and uh, an interesting setup, and a really good cast, and then there's no jokes, there's no laughs, there's nothing right. funny in this movie. And you've got four, four, uh, bridesmaids Right, alums. half the cast of bridesmaids is You know, and they have nothing to do. And I mean, and like, nobody shits in the sink. And nobody shits no, in the sink. No, but there is projectile baby poop. And I'm telling true. you, it does not come out that way. You would never <laughs> get covered with, like, Jackson Pollock paint splatters <laughs> of poop. It would never, ever happen. Well, and it's not funny. Maybe you feed no. your kid right. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, it's, but, it's, but, it's, yeah, or not. No, it's, it's like, I mean, I mean, like, Maya Rudolph, when she was on Saturday Night Live, she made me laugh hysterically by saying the word toothpaste once. Mm -hmm. Like, she can take any little tiny thing and turn it into spin gold out of it and neither she nor Kristen Wiig can do anything. They don't even give Kristen Wiig a, a moment. I mean, it's, a, it's a 
it's, it's, it's a it's a and and the moments she has are fully dramatic, mm -hmm. uh, and I thought she's pretty good uh, at those. There's a, there's one really a couple of difficult scenes for her, and I thought she d did well. But those difficult scenes are are unpleasant to watch, and not in the sort of bold way which it seemed like this movie might have gone. This movie really could have made people uncomfortable in the way that that good film wants to make people uncomfortable. But, it's but in a Westfeld is not way. interested in that. She, no, she no, flirts with that idea and then like runs from as as you can. And let's talk about her as an actress. She is a blank nothing going. No. I, mean, I, I, I felt like she was- I think she's cute. She's, and she's neurotic, but not in a totally obnoxious she way. She's is, doing like a Woody Allen mm, female life. I found her like mildly cute, but like I, I was thinking like if Maybelline ever put out a line called Tabula Rasa, <laughs> she would be the perfect no. model. Because there's nothing going on there. There's a likable kind of cuteness I, to her. Uh, no? I, 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 no, I think you there's think. a likability to her. I, 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 there was not a great deal of, uh, of emoting of, uh, that I saw of sort of right. uh, plausible but, you know, emoting. Adam Scott, funny guy, yep. not funny here. The uh, um, the guy from the IT, Chris O'Dowd. Chris O'Dowd. Also from Bob's Bates, But he's right? yeah, also the only Bates. person I liked in this movie. We saw this together, and I turned to you, and, and you're like, you hated it, didn't you? Yeah. Because like, nobody in this thing is likable. Well, Both couples are shrill, and they just bicker constantly. Well, that's what I mean when I, with that point about, like, that, that there's the scenes that are, that if they were done really well, they're meant, that kind of discomfort mm -hmm. it means you've sort of succeeded. Because there's Here, truth in it. Right, because there's truth yeah, in right. it. Here, it's just like, it felt cliched, and it just felt like, my God, I hate all of these right. people until like some of them there was some softening in the last 25 Chris minutes or so. Like, yeah, Chris O'Dowd's like the voice of reason. He's yeah. the only vaguely tolerable person. Right. I think, and and this, but this, this whole thing to me feels like one of those how to get a movie made because you know the right people. Because Jennifer Westfeld's boyfriend is John Hamm. Right. Mm -hmm. And so he's I think that yeah. he's in it and I think it goes a long way towards getting a lot of the stuff that she got. The executive producers are Mike Nichols mm -hmm. and John Sloss who are like titans of yeah. cinema. Why they're loaning their names to this garbage movie with nothing interesting in it. It's like, how many favors can you call in? I, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm gobsmacked at what a nothing movie this is and the amount of care that was lavished on it by people who should know better. Should we discuss Megan Fox real briefly? Mm -hmm. Is she she's, okay in this? She's yeah. not. She's okay, but she's not really likable either. She's so she's I, Well, she's meant not beautiful. to be. Yeah. Holy Christ. Yeah. <laughs> this, this, is, yeah. this is one of those movies where you're meant to be a bad person if you don't want to have a kid. Right, that's true. Which is she must be right. soulless because she never yeah. wants. It's just again, it was too sharply drawn. There was this is a confusing thing for people who for for people who I'm interested in. The idea of these of, of having a kid, a kid that you love, and that you simultaneously regret the life that you can no longer lead because you have that kid. I don't that's think people, a story. That's a story. I don't think those people are bad. I think those people are interesting. Mm -hmm. This doesn't really tackle that. This sort and of it's, just and it's just, ineptly yeah. directed. Like, did you notice that like scenes would end like a second or two early? Like they didn't have enough cover or something, or it was just edited weirdly. Mm -hmm. Like, like, like somebody would literally be like just barely getting a sentence out of the mouth. They would cut, and, and it happened like four or five times. Like once you forgive, but it happened a lot. There's weird things going on. Mm -hmm. well. It's not good. It's not good. Although I apparently gave it a five. Okay. Um, so you want to change your number? We have time. Um, Whatever, Jack. <laughs> you can change your number. No, really it was. Easily. I thought uh, it was ultimately at the end. It was you know as average as average mm -hmm. uh, can be. I mean, I, I you know I, look, I, I'm easily manipulable, and they, it was manipulative, mm -hmm. and they succeeded, and that pulled me from where I was headed, which was a three, and up to you know again average. Yeah. You didn't like it as much. I gave it a four and a half because I, I kind of admire where she was trying to go. With yeah, it. I, I'm. I'm. I, that's a more accurate reading for me. You okay. hate Y'all are kind. Uh, 2.7. Two uh, that pulls it up even with my uh, increased score to a 4.1, so still not a recommendation for, uh, for friends with But it's kids. doing well. Doing well on the tomato meter, it's like 65% rate. Right yeah, wait till I post mine. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna single-handedly drag it <laughs> right, down. Exactly. Alonzo's reviews carry 20 points <laughs> over. <laughs> Bye.